Our food. Food is essential for all living beings. Farmers produce the food in their fields. Variety of foods are to be stored in different ways. Now let us know about the producers of our food. Farmers. Our country, India, is agricultural based country. Nearly 70% of people depend on agriculture and cattle rearing. Food grain, pulses, vegetables, fruits are grown by farmers in their farms. They take the help of cattle to plough, to carry loads, etc. All variety of crops cannot be grown in same type of soil. Now let us know about soils and their types from our lesson. Soils and their types. Soil is divided or differentiated into different kinds by the composition of soil particles. Some of the important types of soils are sandy soil, silt soil, red soil, alkaline soil and black cotton soil. Sandy soil. It is loose, dry and made up of sand particles. This is abundant in the coastal regions and is suitable for growing casuarin and cashew nut orchids etc. Silt soil. It is a mixture of clay and sand. It can store water as the soil particles are small. It is found in East Godavari, West Godavari, Krishna and Godavari districts. The crops grown in these fields are paddy, turmeric, sugarcane, coconut, plantain and vegetables. Red soil. Soil particles are red in color. Absorb more water and fertility is less. Found in Telangana and Anantapur district. Crops like jowar, maize, groundnut etc. are grown here. Alkaline soil. Cannot store much water. This is less fertile. It is found in Nalgonda, Mahabubnagar and Prakasham districts. Crops like horse gram, Bengal gram, mango and cashew are grown here. Black cotton soil. Soil is black in color. Can store more water. These lands are fertile. Found in Kammam, Karnul, Kadapa and Guntur districts. Crops like cotton, chilies, tobacco and turmeric are grown here. As man needs nutrients for their healthy growth, plants also need mineral nutrients. These mineral salts are supplied to plants through manures. Manure. Manures are of two kinds. Organic or natural manures. Manures available naturally from our surroundings are called natural manures. For example, cattle dung, green manure and sun hemp. Inorganic or artificial manures. When the natural manures are not available, farmers use inorganic or artificial manures. These are manufactured in big factories. For example, urea, sulfate etc. Storage of food grains and vegetables. All the varieties of grains cannot be grown all the whole year but the grain once grown must be stored. If we don't store them carefully insects and rats spoil them. Now let us learn about storage of paddy. You see paddy stored in gunny bags. Malathian the pesticide is spread on these bags or drums in which the paddy must be stored. Different types of bins are used to store food that is paddy. For example, bamboo bin made of bamboos, metal bin made of metal sheet, cement bin made of cement rings. Zinc phosphide is used to kill the rat. The agricultural products having moisture in them are stored in cold storages. For example, fruits, vegetables, fish, prawns, etc. Due to the low temperature, the freshness 
color and taste of these foods don't change and also they last long. Storage of food materials. It is better to purchase fresh food materials. But sometimes it is not possible. Now let us find different methods to store food materials. Different methods used for storing foods are fridging. Storing the food material in low temperature is called fridging. The bacteria and fungi cannot withstand to the high temperature and cold conditions. So, fruits and vegetables can be preserved for some days in ice box and fridge without any decay. Preservation of fruits as juices. Fruits are not available in all the seasons. So, they can be stored in the form of juice to use in off seasons. Preserving fruits as jams. Some fruits can be used by preparing jams. Jams are prepared from the pulp of fruits. Preserving fruits and vegetables as pickles. Some fruits such as mango, lemon, tomato can be preserved in the form of pickles. Preserving vegetables by drying them. We can also preserve some vegetables by sun drying. Sunshine kills the harmful bacteria. Drying protects vegetables from decay. Food Cattle Wealth The animals which give us food is called cattle wealth. They also help us in agriculture. We have many advantages in possessing cattle wealth. Cattle are the backbone of agriculture. Oxen and hay buffaloes are used for ploughing the land and pulling the carts. Cows and buffaloes give us milk. Cattle dung and urine improves soil fertility. We get meat from sheep and goats. The cattle like goats and sheep are the base for leather industry. Sheep gives us wool to make blankets and sweaters. Eggs and meat come from chicken and ducks. The flesh of fish and prawns is a nutritious food. Cattle Cattle are divided into whites and blacks. White cattle are cows and bulls. Black cattle are hay buffaloes and she buffaloes. Cows The Holstein breed, the Jersey cow, the Ongol breed and Haryana breed cows yields a lot of milk. Bulls among bulls, the Ongol breed and Haryana bulls have good work efficiency. They are useful for transport on roads and ploughing in the fields. Goats and Sheep The important sheep breeds in AP are Nello Sheep and Deccan Sheep. Nello Sheep These are found in Nellore and Prakasham districts. They possess less wool and give nutritious tasty meat. Deccan sheep. These are found in Deccan plateau areas like Anantapur, Karnul, Nalgonda and Warangal district. They give us tasty meat and also wool for making blankets. Fowls and ducks. These are reared in almost all the houses in villages. Rearing of fowls is of two kinds for eggs and for meat. The fowls reared for eggs only are called layers. For example, white leg horns give 280 eggs a year. The fowls reared for meat are called broilers. These grow within 10 weeks to give 1.5 kgs of meat. Fish and prawns. These are grown in fresh water and sea water. Fish and prawns grown in fresh water is called as freshwater fish and prawns. Those which are grown in sea water is called salt water fish and salt water prawns. Fish are prime protein food material. Meat of fish contain vitamin A and D.